Hi, I'm Hank Green. On our YouTube series, SciShow, we talk a lot about the science happening all around us. Sometimes that means we end up talking about physics. This is the kind of science that deals with everything from building cars to why planets go around the sun. And while it can get complicated, physics is mostly about understanding why things work and act the way they do. One of the most famous physicists of all time was a guy named Isaac Newton. He was born back in the 1600s. But what he learned about how things move helped us understand a lot. For example, he was famous for learning about gravity, the force that keeps you on the ground. But he also studied a lot of other things. To learn about some of Newton's other ideas, there's an easy experiment you can do. All you need is a string of plastic beads and an open container. First, drop your beads into the container so that one end of the bead string is on the bottom and the top end is on the top. What do you think is going to happen when I give this end a quick tug? Do you think that only some of the beads are going to come out of the container, or will all of them? Well, once you make your prediction, give your end of the beads a quick tug and let them go. Watch what happens. Woo! Whoa! That was neat. It might have seemed like the beads should have stopped moving when I stopped pulling on them, but that is not what happened. And a big part of the reason why is something called inertia. All objects have inertia. It means that they won't move unless something pulls or pushes on them. It's why I could stare at my container of beads all day, and if I didn't touch them, they wouldn't go anywhere. What was important for this experiment, though, is that inertia also means that moving objects will keep moving unless something pushes or pulls on them. This is why I could give the beads one small tug and they all fell out. The string kept pulling on itself until everything was on the ground. Inertia isn't the whole explanation, though, because it doesn't explain everything. Like, it doesn't explain why the beads jumped up so high before they fall out of the container. Scientists have a few ideas about how that part works, but they're actually still figuring out the details. Inertia is a simple idea, but physicists use it almost every day. Inertia is why astronauts can float along way through space with only a small push. There isn't much around them to push or pull on them, so inertia keeps them moving. Inertia is also why when a car makes a sharp turn, you might fall sideways against the door. Even though the car is turning, your body is trying to go in a straight line. Inertia affects us every day, and I bet if you put your mind to it, you can think of some examples of inertia as well. If you do, maybe you can talk about it in the comments.